Here I come, here I come, here I kitty come, come, hey, hey. Okay, seriously. Guys, 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 let me do this. I don't know what I did to my camera. Y'all gotta forgive me. Okay, this is my mirror. I think it might be a little overexposed, but I think my girl Aubrey can help me out. Aubrey, please, I need your help. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a birthday shoot and I, we were using this camera for a little bit and then some we had some technical difficulties and I think I changed some settings and I don't know how to fix it. Ah! And I'm gonna get it started because guess what? I gotta come back. We're gonna go on because I've been trying to film this video for 50,000 years. 365 days in a year. It's a win, win, win. Ay, ay, oh. I'm coming to you with another feed, yo. Coming to you with another feed, yo. Ficky, ficky. So I thought this was super cute because you know we're going through this whole like egg fiasco, okay? We're gonna be talking about the Mario Foundation. Y'all seen it on Instagram and y'all seen it in my shorts and y'all was like, what's the color? What's the color? I'm about to give you all the tea, but first. So we're going through this whole little egg fiasco. My husband saw like, um, I think 18 eggs for like seven bucks at Walmart, okay? I was at Ulta and I saw Beauty Bakery. I saw their eggs, right? Th these are blending eggs, by the way. Aren't they the cutest ever? So it has um, two dark brown, a medium brown, and a, um, a nude, like a nude color. And I did use this one, okay? I did, um, I am using that now. I'm gonna basically try on this makeup by Mario Foundation. I will do some check-ins because I want to do a wear test. I did do a video. I'm got well, it should be on Instagram by the time you guys see this. The video should be on Instagram where I actually tried this foundation like first time ever. But today I'm actually gonna do like a wear test. I wasn't really gonna wear a lot of makeup today, but since we're doing this um, I guess wear test, I'm gonna do a little highlighting and contouring just a little. But first, I'm gonna start off with my Lancome La Base primer that you just heard is almost gone. And I have have a confession to make y'all I tried a um I tried this foundation before and I also tried another primer right and the daggone primer you guys was literally um I'm not gonna say which one it was well I'll tell you guys I wasn't gonna say which one it is but since we're family I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all because I like I don't know I want to see if you guys maybe had the same reaction but I was using this um primer it's called milk primer well it's by milk and it's like a hydro grip or something like that um but first and foremost hold on H pause for the cause it's been a minute y'all y'all love me though i love y'all make sure you subscribe too for all the shenanigans <laughs> okay but first before i do this foundation we're not gonna even act like like we ain't even got a lie to kick it i always use a corrector some people are like if you're doing a review for a foundation you shouldn't use a corrector and eh. like who is you it's not me <laughs> Because I always do a corrector because this is how I do my foundation. This is the only way that I can really tell you guys how it works for me and if I really like it. And I got a little situation right there and we're going to talk about that. And so anyway, now back to the primer. So it's like a hydro grip uh, primer. When I first put it on, I was like, this is really thick. It's really gripping. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. I was like, let's see how it works, right? And then um, went throughout the day. It was okay. It just felt funny on the skin. It felt super thick, right? And my um Lancome is not thick like that. It's just like smoothing. It's not very thick. It's not hydrating. It's not mattifying. It's not any of those things. I use it on all types of skin types or all skin types. Okay. So long story short, I took it off and I think the next day I had like a bump right here, right there, right there, girl. And it was really, really big. I, the next day, like I had a bump. So I've been treating the bump, but then today it was like my skin, like around here, down here where that bump was, it was feeling very dry or very just not normal. And we got to correct under here because you see it. I put like I did my mask like I usually do because I was like, hey, let's get all them impurities out. Let's get all whatever that is. Let's get let's erase it. Let's get it. Let's get it out of here. So I um I did a mask today. And so I don't think it was the foundation because I didn't feel anything when I put the foundation on. The foundation is actually marketed as a luminous hydrating foundation. I will put a little clip in this video because I did do a um like a reel on it when I first found it. And and the matching and everything I did, I literally looked at it and I was like, oh, you're the one. <laughs> I was like, I think that's my shade. And then we matched it on my neck because I had foundation on already. I totally forgot to show y'all the video of the foundation. So this is what it looks like. The, the sun is definitely out. I've had it on for two hours. It's been two whole hours, I forgot. But here we are, this is up close. Told you I had a situation right there. But um, it's not bad at all. 
I do feel like um, I probably should have put a little more powder and let it sit just to soak that up. But also the sun is beaming on me, okay? So this is, again, let me see if I can hit you. Yeah, no, are you gonna get a sun right here? Are you? And it ain't that, don't be deceived because it ain't that hot, but are you gonna get a sun? But here we go and I will check in later. This baby, this baby, we gonna use this nude one. Now we're gonna go into this. I will say, I forgot my watch too, Dagnabbit. What is happening? When you wait too long to film, that's what happens. Anyway, this is in the shade 21W. So the W stands for warm. This is the shade that is, um, I did match it to my neck. I promise you it blended in like seamlessly and it life was great. So. I I'm gonna do one side of my face first. Just, you know, just putting the foundation and all that you guys see. And just know that when you do use a beauty sponge, ooh, this is pretty good. Ooh, girl. Okay, y'all know my favorite is Sonia Kashuk, but I ain't mad at you, beauty bakery. It doesn't really have much of a smell, but it is very, very, uh, what do you say, what do you say? It's, it's medium to full coverage, and he said it's buildable. Well, what I usually do is I let it sit there for a minute. I didn't do that this time, but I'm gonna give a second but it is it is hydrating and kind of luminous the very first time i tried it it definitely gave me a little more like luminosity but like i said i feel like my skin is a little drier and i probably could go a little bit lighter we gonna take it here it, it is definitely i need to correct a little bit right there it is definitely sheer look right there girl your girl need a little more rest but this is the difference this is the right side this is the left side with no product other than the corrector that i have on and i will say that this sponge actually it swells and gets really big it does get bigger than my Sonia Kashuk one thing I love about my Sonia Kashuk though is that it does have the um let me show y'all I can show you but I can tell y'all one thing I love about the Sonia Kashuk though is that it has this flat side where you can place it on all over your face and do your foundation and then it has this real precise tip to where you can blend underneath your um under your eyes and get that concealer blended out so I do appreciate that this is the makeup by Mario foundation his new foundation could I I have gone a little bit lighter probably we did let that size sit so i'm gonna put i'm gonna use all this found i'm generous with, with foundation that's the one thing i do like foundation to like really i don't like it to look like i have on a lot but i do like a nice amount of foundation there's that luminosity i don't know if you get in it i don't know if you get in it youtube but i definitely know my my camera camera's getting it. It is, look at how that is really shining and your girl does not need luminosity at all. But let's give this uh, this little egg a go with this concealer. Not bad though, right? But I definitely have to like go to work on my feet with the powder. But I am gonna go into this Patrick Star concealer. It is, um, it's one size, that's the name of it, but it's by Pat Patrick Star. I believe this is dark one. Yeah, dark one neutral, I think. Girl, I don't know. Yeah, dark one neutral. I'm simply going to kind of go like right there and then there a little bit. I felt like I could go a little lighter, but I need to see what that little lighter means because all little lighters <laughs> ain't equal. <laughs> I don't know what that next shade up is, right? It could be all the way off, but I'm gonna use my um, Sonia Kasha. I did get some Laura Mercier powder when I was at uh, Sephora, but I'm gonna do a separate video because I want to do a comparison. I have my thoughts, but I want to do a comparison. Okay, point, you doing all right. And you know what? I know the video really isn't about this one, but these are not bad at all considering they're cheaper than my Sonia Kashuk and literally the price of a regular like actual like beauty blender brand those are like 20 bucks by themselves oh my god it really blends lordy so first I set this with my Graftobi and that's what this is baby it is almost gone hit that up like Tabitha Brown like that like so like so like that so we gonna hit you with this powder brush powder brush this is the one size powder I'm gonna set that foundation I will say this I literally I promise you I almost did not get this foundation because I was like luminosity weird I don't need it get somebody else to do it <laughs> we are gonna take this powder it is mocha mommy by Fenty Booyaka. we're gonna take that but we're gonna blend it out I feel like I don't know if my Patrick star really works with this shade because when I did it before I did it on on my phone I, I haven't put it up on Instagram yet but I felt like it instantly made me like kind of darker in this area so y'all let me know if y'all see that I don't know if you guys heard but 
Morphe is closing all of their stores in the United States. I was like, just, just please don't go nowhere for real. Like, please don't go because I really love the, the, um, shadows. I'm, you know what I mean? The eyeshadow palettes, I love them. But anyway, I'm going to use this shade Dahlia. It's a Becca blush. I think that they're out of business too, or either they were purchased by someone else. So anyway, but if you want to use something very similar that does not have the shimmer, you can go ahead and, um, try Max Fever. It's pretty close. And now you get your highlighter. After I do this highlighter, I'm actually going to come back uh, with the final look for you guys. And then you just take your Beverly Hills Ofra. Y'all know I love Beverly Hills. It, it's not a secret. You see what I did. You see it. You see it. This is the Ofra Beverly Hills. Uh, 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 uh. You know what I'm doing. Like, anyway. But if you ever want to um, get you some, you can um, purchase it with my discount code, which is CKey, and you'll save money off. I think it's 20%. And then just put a little right here. Oh, man. So now I'm using, this is the gingerbread color right here. That's that gingerbread shade. I will be using my Just Being Me lip gloss and my uh, Confidence is key nude and then I'll come back and you know I'll be all dressed up for you guys and then I will um do some recordings throughout the day like as soon as I get in the car I'm gonna give you guys an update up close like in natural lighting so you can see what this foundation is looking like and then I will do another video at the end of the day and I will probably it is literally like I think one o'clock maybe and I'm gonna have this on all the way till probably 11 o'clock tonight so I'm gonna show y'all I'm gonna give y'all all the tea okay so get ready to sip up y'all see that little situation I told y'all about earlier Ugh. anyway this is the final look you guys I will be doing a um, up close video like I said as soon as I get in the car so you guys can see it in natural lighting oh oh my gosh I already took it out I will be doing a comparison of the Laura Mercier shade in honey that setting powder I don't know how new it is but it's new to your girl but I will be doing a comparison I do have thoughts on this already, but I'm not gonna share them yet because I want to compare them side by side with like my Holy Grail setting powders that I actually use today. I don't know exactly when it's gonna drop, but just make sure that you subscribe and join the fan bam. In the description box, you will find my link tree and it has everything about me, like everywhere I am, okay? And thank you guys so much for watching. I love, love, love you guys. So have an awesome, I almost forgot, have an awesome, blessed day. Bye guys. <laughs> it is 11 p.m. and this is what the foundation is looking like not bad but you see I did get kind of oily here but come on that's like one o'clock and this is supposed to be like illuminating hydrating all that good stuff not too bad there it is this is where I get oily anyway because I do have combination skin all right here and then you know all right there I don't mind so much right here because of the highlighter one thing I forgot to say is this foundation does have 30 shades the shade I am in is 21w I don't know if I mentioned that in the video I did not try other shades because I literally looked at that one and was like this is the one and then I matched it to my neck because I had foundation on and then when we matched it it literally like disappeared into my neck so I just went with that one but this is it oh yeah see y'all later this is key you know what I mean a woman feels good when she's looking pretty I don't need no Benz Lexus or Range Rover just give your girl a bomb see key beauty makeover